started polling. Froknowsphoto.com, and this is going to be the photo of the week, which is sponsored by Alan's camera. Uh, but first, this is the first video that I've made since Steve Jobs has passed away. And I, yeah, it's it's terrible. It's sad. It's unfortunate um, that somebody that we look up to as a superhero ends just like we all will end, um, which is just tough. And I, and I did pose the question out there the other day, uh, which is, you know, what positive mark have you made on the world? And if you really, you know, haven't thought about it before, maybe you should think about it. And and I say positive because positive is important. What kind of positive mark have you left here? So, and as I sit here using a Mac, you know, a 27-inch iMac, I've got my iPad, my iPod, uh, my iPhone, you know, you've got it all. Just somebody thought it, they went out and they did it, they made it happen, and that's kind of what photography is. You think it, you go see it, you capture it, you do it. Uh, but with life, try to leave a mark that's positive. I mean, that, that's what I got to say. But all right, let's get into photo. Actually, before that, uh, I'll also say that um, moving on to the next note, that Saturday, which is what, the, the 8th? Uh, 6th, 7th, I think it's Saturday the 8th, I'm going to put up a new mystery t-shirt. I'll have more information in that video for you, but there will be some special perks to uh, picking it up without knowing what it's about. Uh, but I will give you some details so you know a little bit about it without knowing what it actually is. So let's get into this photo of the week. So I'm filming that beginner guide that you guys know about, and I had Nikon send me a D3100, and I borrowed a 70-300 to 300 uh, four five to five point six Nikon. Uh, I borrowed it from Alan's camera and um, went and did a photo shoot of Logan here. Logan, who so happens to love X Men, I wonder why he loves X Men. Uh, and I had his his mom, Robin, is is an amazing person. She's a very I have actually haven't seen her actually I've seen her Instagram photos. Those are very good. She's very good at that. Um, but she brought her son Logan out to the park. And it was my job to photograph Logan using the 31 Nikon D3100, and I chose to use the 70 to 300, 45, 56 to try to do the best that I could to make it work. And this was one of the strongest images that I came up with. Uh, shot one two hundredth of a second at 5.6 ISO 800, 280 millimeters using the 70 to 300, and when we multiply that 280 by 1.5 we get 420 for uh, basically the reach of 420 meters millimeters which is which is just insane when you think about it for a lens so when we look at this i broke a ton of rules one two hundredth of a second you're not really supposed to handhold that slow but i had vr on on this lens which helps it um 800 iso i'm there because i didn't really want to push it to 1600 or 3200 because i wanted the image to hold up uh, so, you know, I shot all the way out at the end, handheld it. It's pretty insane that, that this image is uber duber sharp and fantastic. Um, you look at the reflection in the eye. You can see the jungle gym in his eye. And, you know, yeah, Nikon D3100, the very basic camera with a pretty basic lens on there. And, uh, and that's what I have to say about that. But now it's time to edit it. And I've done some edits before, and I've written the stuff down because I didn't want to forget it, because I really want to replicate and show you what I did. Um, I went with, I started with color, but I feel that the black and white is really strong, so that's what I'm going to do first. I used the black and white button up here in the corner. That's what I've switched to recently, because the HSL, you have so much more control over changing, you know, different colors and, and uh, different tones in the black and whites, so that's important. Uh, obviously, boom, I go Mr. Boomification right there because that's an important thing. Then I'm, I added 17 here on the the, the 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 fill light, and I went to minus 0 0.20, I believe, there to bring it to to a place that's very very close. And when I'm editing, I'm editing on feel. What looks right to me? What feels right? And that's my style of editing, and that's that's what I like to do. Um, I also tweak the white balance here because this does do something as well. So you can see by adding the fill light in this case, it 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 brought the eyes back a little bit and it didn't detract 
Excuse me, that's not good. It didn't detract... I haven't gotten there yet. 17. It didn't detract from the image. Uh, sometimes fill light can go too far and it looks like that. You don't want to do that. Uh, I don't really need to take the black levels too much further, but I, I, I could... So I may, maybe I'll come back to that and do that tweak, but I'll leave it at five for now. Contrast is there. I pumped in a little bit of uh, a little bit of clarity here. Then I did my general sharpening, and I also really tweaked my highlights. Oh, <laughs> hold on! I know what I just did. Excuse me. I'm going backwards. I was like, I didn't tweak my highlights yet. I hit the wrong thing. General sharpening there. Then I've got my highlights here, which uh, I went to 25. Just to, it, 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 it added more like oomph to it. Oh yeah, one thing that I forgot to do that I did right away is boom, I went like that. I went to strong contrast. But what's missing here in his eyes? The, you know, the eyes need to be brought back. So how did I do this? I went right up here. I set this to 0 0.70, not too much. And then I just went in and I went like this to the one eye. I went like this to the other eye and then I pulled back and watch what happens here we'll turn that off boom eyes are gone boom eyes are there and it's not you know it's not taken away from the image um, let me see if that's exactly what I did before yep that's exactly what I did before to get to where I wanted it to go so you can see what I did to get to this image the first thing I should have done here is change it to the strong contrast over here because that is what I do quite often with my black and whites. Uh, looking here in the eye, this looks like a reflection. It doesn't look like I've taken it too far with the with the uh, burning of the eye, sorry, the dodging of the eye pretty much, bringing that back out. But this, to me, is just a solid, solid image. And here's the color just to show you. Color's cool. It's vibrant. Yeah, it's nice. But I think the black and white has a strong, strong appeal to it. Um... Yeah, I like the color. I do like the feel of the color. I mean, it. I like them both. And it always brings up the thing that it's very hard to pick which one you like, especially after you've got one color, one black and white. Did I do the same thing here with the eyes? I did do the same thing here with the eyes. And one thing I need to figure out is how I show... I forget the, the button that I press to show where I've uh, dodged or burned or done whatever I've done. Uh, so let's take that back to the snapshot that I did before so I, I really 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 like this image uh, I debated putting it up for raw edit of the week but I don't think I'm going to because I don't really think there's there's terribly too much that should or can be done to this um, I just I'm really happy with this and I may get Robin on to talk about the photo shoot if I can but I know that she loved this black and white quite a bit so you know wrapping it up this is the photo of the week that's brought to you by Alan's Camera. That's where I get all of my pro gear, and you can get all your you know, used gear, new gear, whatever. They've got it. So definitely check them out, alanscamera.com. But I just I love this image. So I hope that you got something out of how I edited this, how I tweaked it, to get to where I'm going right here. And that's really it. So, you know, pay attention for Saturday. That's when I'm going to put up that mystery pre-sale. Uh, and special bonuses for you guys who take the, take the chance on it being a really cool shirt because it's going to be a really cool shirt. I I I love the design. JP, my designer, came up with something beyond belief, and it has a part to do with some JPEG in there being uh, maybe crushed or something like that. So I'll, I'll paint that visual for you, and it's going to be a black shirt, but I'll give you more information on Saturday. So that's it. Photo of the week right here. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.